Welcome. Welcome to the Fremont Show. This is the Fremont Show. We've got another uh, great program for you this evening. Um, I think I think we got a, an action-packed evening uh, for the Fremont Show uh, tonight, wouldn't you say, Lawrence? Absolutely, a huge program. I've uh, you know I've been excited for this for 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 a number of hours now, <laughs> or maybe a forty-eight hour period uh, in which you've been emailing me some some correspondence. Since uh, he's at least heard of it, he's been excited. Go on. Yes, yes. Uh, so you uh, you've been in touch with a uh, artist, so to speak, a uh, a pop culture icon, uh, I guess you can say, in, J in John Lurie. Is that uh, correct? Being a member of the artistic uh, network, the community, the the octopus tentacle of uh, right, understanding right. that is art, I've been in communicate with the one John Lurie, and we're going to be reading an exclusive, super, super duper exclusive piece of his tonight live on the show that is... Nice. Uh, Getting more and more relevant by the moment, I feel like. Yeah, very, very uh, relevant by the moment. So perhaps we should bring in the audience on uh, on this one, Lawrence. Uh, tell a Fremont tale, if you will, to the audience of uh, a New Yorker article that was published in uh, August of, of 2010. Of 2010. We're going to take you all the way back to spring of 2010. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but uh, Fremont here. Uh, yes, I read. I read the article. Take away. Tell, tell I, us. Yes, well, well, uh, Lawrence, I read the article. Okay, uh, it was a very interesting article uh, about John Lurie, um, uh, sort of a uh, a punk artist, if you will, saxophone player in the uh, Lizard uh, or the the Lounge Lizard. Yeah, uh, a faction of of punk, jazz, uh, sort of the no wave sort of, group, but more leaning towards the jazz. Influence. He's he's a jazz man. He's a musician. He's a painter. He's an actor. Right. You know. You know, kind of guy we could hang out with. I feel like, right? We I could probably like have a couple drinks that, that, uh, I feel with like him that's on occasion. What, that's what's sort of happening here. But yeah. Yeah. On. I mean, we're a jack of all trades ourselves. Um, I mean, I can't play saxophone, but um, yeah, you can. You can. You can uh, actually. Can you tune a guitar, uh, Lawrence? I, you can play a guitar. I, 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 I can. Uh, I can tune a guitar. <laughs> I prefer not to. Uh, but we really are. It's character. If you go ahead and tune it, then you just sound like everybody else. But um, yes, uh, ba ba back to the topic. Yes. No. No. Ba so. Ba uh, ba 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 <laughs> so. Uh, so this New Yorker article. It's written about two Johns. There's a there's a John uh, Lurie and a John Perry. Uh, Lawrence, okay, and and they're both artists, so to speak, and they sort of um, connect with each other when Lurie's a bit older, uh, I guess you could say, uh, a little further along in his career, and Perry's sort of this up-and-coming artist who kind of wants to learn from him. Is well, that is well, that fair enough? Well, it, you know, I, I don't know if it is, because uh, I think this takes place around 95, and here we are in, in 2011, from mm -hmm. what I can understand. So I, I don't know if we should get into specifics, but basically it, it was this uh, piece that was, I feel, salaciously written uh, in the explanation of um, something that, um, a situation between these two former friends that has gotten right. way out of right. hand. Right, Way, way out of hand. So, uh... Where the tale is at, at, at this very moment, Lawrence, I believe, is uh, uh, so, so what happened, well, we should say first, what happened was they did a, um, uh, John Perry was doing a, uh, tried to do an art show for PBS. He had his friend John Lurie come in, who had suffered a number of years from what he thinks uh, is Lyme disease, uh, I believe, which causes him problems. So he was having a bit trouble, uh, Lawrence, uh, uh, posing for Perry when Perry was doing the drawing. There was some sort of confrontation, and basically what the New York ar article said uh, was that uh, Perry was uh, supposedly stalking John Lurie for a number of years. Right, and, and what a lot of this information is uh, based off of is, one, this article that, for anyone that's read it, is um, Pretty, pretty ridiculous in terms of what the intentions the, of what the writer's doing yes. and what you're actually reading. And that's I mean, another piece and of the puzzle. anybody could, could pick up what's going on in that. Hmm, having a little sip there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, you just reminded me the other piece of the part, uh, uh, piece of the piece article. Piece of the particle? Piece of the pie, if you will. The, uh, uh, is uh, Tad Friend, uh, the writer, the, the Harvard the grad of the article. The ridiculously Tad Friend. Yes. Uh, he, he's the one that it would. Do you have the opening line of the article just to 
give people. Oh yes, yes. To what okay, they're, all right. What so being, I'll move on to the exclusive uh, piece of writing. So, the, so the opening line uh, that Tad uh, writes here, um, and this is the article that appeared in, in the August uh, issue mm -hmm. of the New Yorker. From 1984 to 1989, everyone in downtown New York wanted to be John Lorry, or sleep with him, or punch him in the face. So this is this is uh, the New Yorker. I remember my grandmother lived at the age of 92, and she was a subscriber to the New Yorker. Yes. So she would have been uh, reading this if it's she were alive. It's a bit hacky, perhaps. It's, I would certainly say so. It's. Uh, I, I was wondering if Tad Friend was wearing a shirt when he wrote this, in terms of. I yes. mean, That's just that is a uh, Tad Friend shirt. He has. Well, his own. no, no. I, I, I think it you know belongs in an Us, Us Weekly, which is adding to. You Maybe know, he freelances for uh, Us Weekly. They probably need a few reporters here and there. Okay, so so in, in, in <laughs> things in, in, in things in in terms of expediting the explanation. Uh, I was viewing Fishing with John the other night and uh, felt I should reach out to John Lorry. While this article may have been printed a year ago, there's something happening right now where uh, basically the, uh, I guess, should we say the stalker in the article? Or, or yeah, the, the, the way the, the one painted is the stalker, uh, yes. John, you know, uh, John uh, Perry. Um, He's gone on a hunger strike, apparently, in the yes. last uh, yes. several hours, which is, the, there's a dark side to this. But um, getting back to Tad Friend, um, I would like to read a piece that was sent to me from John Lurie in response a year down the road uh, to the, the New York article. So this Nice. Is, I'm looking forward to hearing this, Lawrence. Okay, so for all of you tuning in tonight, this is Tad Friend by our friend of the show, John Lurie. When Tad Friend and the New Yorker arrived in Palm Springs, he plopped down on the couch and announced he was a world-class squash player. Nezrin asked if he would like a glass of water, to which Tad Friend responded, I went to Harvard. I asked if he was going to use a tape recorder and Tad Friend said, no, I like to act like a little boy, get people to trust me, and then make the whole thing up later. It's fun. I went to Harvard. An orange butterfly flew into the room, and Tad Friend stood on top of the table screaming. I thought, there goes the last decent magazine in America. <laughs> now, an incident did occur where Tad was beaten up by three young men and kidnapped. I interviewed the young men later, and they told me that they were Tad Friend's college buddies and that this didn't happen. In the interest of appearing to be objective, I have left this out of the story. These young men live for their love of poetry. And that is Tad Friend by Mr. John Lorry. It seems <laughs> see as as you read that, uh, that's a great piece. I'm a great as, reader. It takes on a new <laughs> life as I, you know, sort of Go Absolutely. Ahead. Is that what as you were reading that, it was it, it struck me as funny that uh, apparently John Lurie is a better writer than Ted Friend, the writer of the New Yorker and article. Uh, quite a jack of all trades. Two a paragraphs. Real, that's all. You yeah. Know, as opposed really to really read, really read well. Um, you know, maybe some hints of Bukowski in there. It, perhaps. There's good I content. I, w I was curious. There was a lot of comedy in there. There was good stuff. Uh, so you actually took it upon yourself to contact. Yes. Tad Friend. Yes. Because we want to defend our friends. I yes, Tad yes. Tad Friend, I mean, please. So, Come uh, from Lawrence back corner and free my barrington. So should we show Your name is thoroughly dreadful. Tad Friend. I'm trying to figure out if we should show the, no, we'll, we'll show the, the clip, yes, the call. Yeah. So, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, myself, Fremont Barrington, being the uh, semi-part-time uh, journalist, uh, so to speak, as I am on occasion, uh, I gave uh, Tad Friend a call, uh, try, try to get the guy on the, on the show this evening uh, via the phone uh, to see if he had any comment about this particular situation, about his article, in which basically both John's dispute was, was journalistically incorrect. Yeah, and, 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 and basically, how do you write uh, a story about a dispute between two men? And the men in dispute then 
can only agree upon that you can <laughs> accurately. The, the only thing the that one, they the the one place they can agree on is that this was not a good article. And Tad Friend has yet to weigh in on this, and I think that yes, you yes. really did. So, uh, you, you know, I, Lawrence, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep after him, but uh, why don't we show the audience uh, this clip? Uh, so this is uh, me uh, early in the evening, and Tad, if you're watching, if you're out there, and, uh, well, you probably have to be YouTube land, because I don't think he's in oh, Somerville at the this. moment. Oh, he's not? Uh, but but uh, I'm, I, I sent you an email, Tad. Uh, at uh, your New Yorker address, but uh, I'll, I'll get him eventually, I think, Lawrence. But, I, uh, I would. This is, uh, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a call uh, earlier from the evening. Yeah, this is uh, Fremont uh, Barrington. Yes, I do a, uh, I do a TV show in Somerville. Uh, we were, we we're hoping to go on the record tonight, Tad, uh, on our show uh, with the, in the, uh, the situation now with uh, John Perry with a hunger strike. Uh, can can you comment uh, on that at all, Ted? Ted, did I go to Harvard? Uh, no, I, I did uh, did not receive my uh, yes, we to we did not receive my education at Harvard, uh, Ted. Uh, what did, uh, does that have to do with anything, or uh... oh, is that right? <laughs> well, uh, am I a journalist? Uh, well, I mean, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> student. I'm a student of a of of, of, uh, of journalism. A student student of journalism, sir. Are, are you a journalist? Yeah, he uh, he hung up. <laughs> Sorry, Lawrence. Don't mind me. I'm it's just, okay. I'm just turning up our mics. <laughs> this is, uh... So uh, so yes, that was the uh, that was the call earlier in the day, Lawrence. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Uh, I'll eventually get in touch with this character. What do you think? I mean, I got I have to just start thinking in ways that Harvard people think. Oh man. Uh, maybe wear a scarf okay. or two here and there. So basically, we need to go to the places we're already at and act like a complete prat. Something to that effect. I don't, I don't understand how we I can need to both maybe be maybe there uh, maybe and then, and then get in our way as we're there. I, I oh man. Perhaps when I'm crossing the street in Harvard Square, I have to not look at cars approaching and just know that I'm so important that I can be dilly dallying and daydreaming about my uh, dried I, I semen know. on khakis. Nice little touch. Dried semen on khakis. Nice little touch. Why? Because they uh, commit a lot of uh, date rape, uh, Lawrence. Is oh, that I what you're know. suggesting? Holy. Oh. <laughs> so you you were yeah, or were I, not saying this? I I was thinking it was more of a solo knockout that was going on. Well, uh, so we haven't you know you we asked had friend. I'm not the expert. We did not <laughs> we did not graduate. We did from not Harvard. graduate from Harvard University, ladies and gentlemen. We've been by it. Um, yeah, yeah, a couple of times. It is. Uh, I've like actually it. I've taken a pee on the side of it a few times. Um, I've cut through it. Um, and then I've never pee. just had to go. It wasn't anything. I don't ceremony. believe I've ever banged a Harvard girl either, um, and I've had a few women in my day. I don't think you bang day. a Harvard woman. You uh, arouse them and give them something to think about, and then there's, there's no banging. <laughs> there are a lot of work then, yeah. huh? There are a lot of work. Is that what you're saying? Uh, but I, I need to, a lot of work Lawrence. I, I need to hear a little more about this Lurie, uh, uh, you know, exchange between you and Lurie. Um, can we can we get sort of an inside scoop on this? So so yes I couldn't and, get Todd Friend. Yes folks, and no. But, uh, yes and no. We, uh, I mean, John Lurie sent us this this great piece of. Uh, Oh, we have a caller, Lawrence. Go ahead. Caller, you're, you're on. Uh, you're on the Fremont show. You've hung up on the Fremont. Hello, show. caller. Gentle caller. You're on the air. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I'm pretty sure these phone systems are okay. I've been assured here that they're okay. This uh, is by the, the people up front. The management, brass. ladies and gentlemen, has assured me that the phone lines are fine. I'm pretty sure the call is. You can just... call in again. <laughs> or if I'm you sure only it was know probably... this number through other forms of media, you wouldn't see this. So Right. It, it was probably someone who it. had a fa Here we are. Here we go. Hello, you're on the Fremont show. Uh, this is the front desk checking the phone system. Oh, the Vaughn, front desk checking the phone system. The phone Vaughn, system is fine. The sweetest voice in the world. Vaughn, you're, you're, the, you're the man. So the phone system is a go, Vaughn? The go. Uh, it's a go. It's a go. Thank you, Vaughn. Thank you, pal. Oh man. boy, excellent. The That's phone the system right is fine. There. I bet you I don't that, care what happens. I bet you the, the caller that dropped you call back in. Maybe you wanted to weigh in on this John Lurie uh, situation. But Lawrence, yes, so what has he been telling you? What, what's the deal? Well, no, he's uh, not not a lot. Basically, uh, you know, I, I, I contacted him, got got in contact with him. We we started sort of ping ponging ideas back and forth and um, like we said about this this other situation that's going on is literally up to the minute 
as, as far as we know. Yeah. Which is so strange. I don't know what from an article right, a year right. ago inspired this other John to then take these steps. So it's very... Well, I, 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 I tread lightly. Do we have time, uh, Lawrence, uh, in the, in the should, evening? I we, think perhaps we yeah, do. We, to we, get, we do have a musical guest, a superstar today. We have a musical guest. John, so what we'll do, we'll Lawrence, channel, is... Uh, this John Perry situation is really weird. He's on a hunger strike. I believe he's on day three. I get Lawrence. uncomfortable even with any of this, but go, go ahead. He's on day three. He's on day three. Um, he also disputes this article that Dad Friend, uh, Tad, Tad Friend, friend. Dad, Tad, Dad Mom. It's did. a tough name to say, Theodore. <laughs> yeah. I know your name's really Theodore, and I know I, I'm gonna get in touch with this guy. All right, so let's just play a clip. He he's uh, he seems uh, maybe not worse for the wear. It seems, I don't know. Maybe he's actually eaten. You think he's eaten, Lawrence? You, you you don't know because it's the internet and it's trusting the, the internet is like trusting the government. Well, all right, we'll play this quick clip and then we'll have our musical guest. So musical uh, guest. Let's get this up for the audience here. Show the audience these poor steps. Artistic career. This has to do with my life as a human being, my capacity to function in society without having people be afraid of me, which I've never had to experience and if you never had that happen to you or experienced that it, uh, it's unpleasant and heartbreaking to say the least um, I don't know anyone who wants people to be afraid of them that's what John Lurie wants from me because uh, that's what he succeeded in doing with his campaign of uh, you know slander and lies and uh, and stalking, frankly. He's the only one who's been doing any stalking these past two years. Uh, he's the only one who's done anything real. You know, I sent him three spooky emails in the first two weeks of the, of the beef, called him and hung up a bunch of times, and was done with it. But, uh, so uh, yeah, we're back, Lawrence. I, I just think uh, oh, that makes it. me uncomfortable. I gotta get. You out gotta of stop this. that noise. It's probably happening right at the same time. <laughs> I think I still got the audio in here. Oh boy, Lawrence. Okay, I think oh, we're good. The magic of computers. Uh, so I found it interesting that he said, uh, uh, you know, I, I just sent a few sketchy emails. I sent, a, I hung up a few times. <laughs> you know, it's. It, it's interesting. As, it seems as, like as people, as guilty parties, let's, you know, I, sent a few I, spooky emails. I yeah, so I, I don't think I've ever really sent too many spooky emails to people that, that didn't direct. deserve. They were pretty direct. Yeah, pretty direct. Didn't deserve, you know, not anyone that didn't deserve. Look at the Hall of Fame tonight. Speaking of Hall of Fame, we have a musical guest tonight that we yes, would like absolutely. to invite uh, onto the show. Um, sir, would you, it's not Rockham. It's, it's not Bill Murray and an elephant either. But we have a guest. So I'm glad everyone stayed tuned in. You know, everything was a little cerebral before. How, uh, how are you? Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Good. Your name, sir? My name is Chance Caulfield. Chance Caulfield, ladies and gentlemen, live on the Fremont Show. Chance Caulfield. All you right. heard it here I'm, first. I'm a Somerville resident. Oh, it's a good town. Live, uh, they check your ID in the front sometimes. I live uh, right, right in the square here, right, right out by the bus stop. Right there? There's a dog over there. Is that going to be okay? It's or my you... roommate. It's oh. Right. All right, I'm going to play a song here. Uh... This, um, this is, this is my new summer. It's my summer hit single. Mm -hmm.
darkness falls before the dawn. Chance Caulfield, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Chance. Uh, this is uh, this is quite tremendous to have you on the show. I mean, it, it, we just met this Chance before the show. I had no Florence. idea that this you. My, uh, this is my first performance. Thank you. What what yeah. made you choose the Fremont show? Well, I uh, I have a, a gig coming up in New York City, in Brooklyn actually, and I thought that this would be a good. Uh, Avenue for announcing the show for promoting. Now, are you saying that, that we Very have a exclusive episode? Are you? Us. Yeah. Are you saying we have a Fremont exclusive here? Mm -hmm. We have a Fremont exclusive that you will be paying, uh, playing in New York City. Is that uh, is that correct? Yeah, it's true. I will be uh, exclusively playing in New York City. But I thought this would be um, a good. Sh well, see, I'm a big fan of the show, and I've seen a lot of your episodes, and I know that you had a you had a caller from New York who explained that New York is is better than everywhere else. Right. Uh, so yes. I thought to myself, yes. we've been working on that. I thought, well, if I'm going to play somewhere, I should play in New York. Sure. Right. I mean, that's I usually... That from your show. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel like we that's kind of yeah. good for us that he's doing that. That's kind of a positive reflection. On the Fremont show. Right. If he's going if to New York. take credit for this, we... Right. Is that okay? Yeah, no, you, we, you should. I've learned, yeah. a I've learned a lot from you guys. I learned that you can... You can feed a dog a ham sandwich, and that you can go to New York yes. and play a show. Oh, yeah. there's we teach a lot on the Fremont. Show. Learning, growing, experience. You're I'm welcome. gonna I'm gonna go on a hunger strike this week, Lawrence. Just to, I don't think just you to can try. afford it. I, on the other hand, <laughs> you know, you don't yes. have to go on a hunger strike because that dog. <laughs> that, that dog, dog is the shade. That dog was was uh, we uh, knew thoroughly. Um, uh, you know, got rid of that I, dog's. I uh, think I I ordered specifically. Deli mustard, which you only but we put would. laxatives too, also in <laughs> in the sandwich. So. But usually you would just That'd use yellow mustard. mustard. But the deli, the brown, is for a higher caliber sort of guess. But I'm I'm sorry, Chance, go. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's, it's all fine. Yeah. I think you know, you guys did a nice thing for the dog. Yeah. 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 He got cleaned out pretty thoroughly. <laughs> it's, he, pure, uh, it's purifying for the soul and the body. Yeah. You know, I think that Gandhi would approve. <laughs> of, of feeding the dog the ham sandwich? Well, maybe not the ham part, but cleaning the dog's system. Ah, ham. So, so just a, a quick uh, three-minute recap. We've inspired an artist to yeah. take a shot at New York, and also Gandhi approved, from what I heard. Gandhi approved. Just for those of you... And call us, if, if you want to call in and ask our guest a question... Be my Chance guest. Chance Caulfield. Right. Chance Caulfield. I'll answer, sir. I'll answer any question. Any, qu any question that's put on where, the table? Where in New Chance, York? Where in New any York? Any question put on the table? Where are you guys? Um, I know Brooklyn, but... Yeah, I'm playing at a... Oh, I should have played a cover of these guys. Um, Chance, what do these fellows mean to you? You seen these guys the before? world to me. I think that if it wasn't for Iggy Pop, I never would have learned how to cut up my arms, mm -hmm. or how to take drugs. Or uh, how to... He also made music. Oh, yeah, his music has been a big influence on me as well. Iggy taught me that you really don't have to worry about melody. Yeah. You know? Spe speaking of uh, taking drugs, what about uh, discouraged uh, baseball <laughs> manager Butch Hobson? With, look at that cocaine sweat on his neck there. Can you see that? That's a man who needs to Now, Lawrence, I feel like that's back in the day when, when, when baseball was baseball and men were men. Yeah. Did you say? Do a little blow, get your picture Do taken. a little blow beforehand. What about James Rockford? Oh, yeah, I've seen that show. He had, uh, what was that show called? Uh, the Rockford Files. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. I've seen that. What about Egon Shield? Excellent. Can we, can we uh, show this? 
We're showing it. We can show it. That is a we, work we, of art. That is a real work of art. What's that? That's head to toe. Oh, boy, that might be a little, yeah. Is that that might be much? a little racy for Channel 3, Lawrence. I don't know. What about the lyrics to Black Flag's Nervous Breakdown, signed by one Keith Morris? Is this? A, are we delving into a bit of the Lawrence collection this here? This is the whole thing. If you guys on? don't want, what's that? What's that? Bill Murray telling a elephant not to drink? Wow. Is that? Oh, that's from. Uh, I saw that movie. Uh, Stay off the sauce, Bill Murray. Yeah, what's the movie where he um, he he goes he goes east and he climbs a mountain? Is it Juice with uh, Know the Ledge by Rock Kim? I don't was that the movie? movie? No, the, That's the Bill a different Murray guy. movie with the elephant where he, oh. he, he goes to Benton. Oh. You what, Gandhi? Gandhi? No, I haven't. There's a movie, we do uh, have in Hall of Fame. The Razor's Edge. That's the Bill Murray movie. He made a real serious movie in the early What about a, uh, a photograph of Easy e taken by Ricky Powell? Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, we need to land Powell eventually on the show, right, Lawrence? I mean, he's come on. A, uh, he's a slippery weasel, I'll tell you that uh, But, I Lawrence, we should, do, uh, we should do a recap because uh, we don't have too much time left. So uh, I will get on t Tad Friend this week. You have to get back to uh, John Lurie. All yeah. right? I'll get in touch with him. you got to get in touch with him. We have to we have to keep this correspondence up. Chance has got a big show. Chance, do you want to like explain where the show is? I know oh, it's New right, York, right. and I'm then playing, specifically Brooklyn. Well, and I'm then playing, uh, I'm playing at the Way Station in Brooklyn. On is that May a safe? 27th. Is that a safe place? The Way Station? No, it's not safe. It's not safe. Are you like under like a it sounds arresting? Who talked you into this? The Way Station? <laughs> uh, well, Lawrence, we, uh, real, we really don't have too much to depth. I don't want him to get hurt. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go play here in town, actually, after I play. <laughs> I think one of these lights, lights is on fire. Yeah, well, I'm everyone, too, so. we're going to burn alive in here. It's been a good Fremont it's show. It's been a night of nights. Here's the outro. Bon appetit. Bye.